If you followed local school board races, you know that many of the candidates brought up concerns over curriculum and what's actually taught in schools. We sat down with the Anoka Hennepin District Superintendent, David Law, to learn more about how the district decides curriculum in today's Newsmakers. So there's a lot of drivers for changing curriculum. Some of it is it gets old or outdated, but the main reason for curricular change are updated state standards. Whether it be math or language arts, we, know we have just gone through a math and language arts adoption. We're doing our 612 ad adoption right now. Social studies certainly is getting a lot of news time. Those drive change and then as those things are coming, our internal experts, our teachers and curriculum experts are reviewing those and, and going through the process of how does what we currently use as materials match up with what the state's expectations are. And then we have a lengthy community involved process to make that change. Sure. Uh, how much do you hear from the public about this? Are you hearing more about it these days? You know, uh, certainly social studies is probably the most public involved and I think because they're talking about making changes that are different than what people experienced when they were in school um, that that's probably by far the most we've heard about and math is a very interesting as a former math teacher I can tell you that studies show 60 percent of adults didn't feel confident with their math skills but those same adults really don't want anything to change with how we teach math so it's it's a very interesting um, dynamic Interesting. Now you guys are expanding your curriculum advisory council. What is that and what do people need to know about it? So in a typical adoption process, a group of teachers will select a handful of materials to pilot. But in that process, we run it through both a panel or a group of school board members to see the process and then a group of parents and community members who will look at the materials and provide input. And this current year we're adding five community members that aren't parents in our system and the goal for that is is just to answer that parent question about how do we have an opportunity to review this is there anything that you'd want parents to know that might be watching about how curriculum is chosen i think it's important that parents know anytime we pilot materials for a change the students in that class and the parents of those students have a chance to take a survey and say, I'm going to look at this at home, my son's been using it or my daughter's been using it for nine weeks, and I'll tell you how it looks to me at home as a parent watching my son work through the process. And we've been doing that for several years, and we get great feedback from our students and parents. It is never just two or three teachers in the district office selecting materials. It's always a lot of students, a lot of parents, and an opportunity for community input. All right. Takes a team. Takes a team. All right. David Law, Superintendent of Anoka Hennepin Schools, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Superintendent Law also said that every time there's a curriculum change, the district will place the materials in a room and open it up for a few hours in the evening so the public can review what's being considered. You can keep up with that availability and learn more about the expansion of the Curriculum Advisory Committee on the district's website. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.